And we turn now to some more Ebola news in another part of the world. No decision on the use of those weapons against any person can be issued without clear instructions from the commander in chief to the minister of defense and to the chain of command of the armed forces of Liberia. So once again, I want to make it very clear that the armed forces of Liberia had not been issued any orders of shoot to kill to anybody out there at this point in time. And that was Liberian Minister of Defense Brian Samukai condemning the use of fire on residents of an Ebola-stricken community in Liberia. Liberian forces are battling residents to contain the spread of Ebola as patients try to escape quarantined areas. It's fast becoming a national crisis, says WSJ's Drew Hinshaw. He joins us now from Af Accra in Ghana, which is in West Africa, where he's been covering uh, the situation in Liberia from. Uh, Drew, thank you very much for being there. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so wh wh what happened here? I understand uh, shot shots were fired uh, right. by security forces at uh, residents who wanted, said they were hungry and wanted food. So, yeah, what you have is a really densely populated area on the coast of Liberia. It, uh, it's a neighborhood that filled up during the country's 14-year civil war, and it filled up with a lot of uh, young people who uh, really have no hope of formal employment. Uh, it's been an area of high tension for a long time, and uh, it recently became an area where Ebola has been seen. The government ha doesn't have the resources to isolate individuals with Ebola, so what it's doing is isolating the entire neighborhood. Uh, you can imagine how, how uh, infuriating that was for residents there who woke up and found they were trapped in a uh, disease-stricken neighborhood uh, without adequate food uh, to last. Um, so they tried to break out, and the Liberian police and soldiers, who are uh, uh, they have their own problems after they recover, as they recover from that civil war, uh, apparently fired into into the crowd. Uh, yeah, and they they fired into the crowd, and there's also the the issue that in in Liberia, in some communities, there's a lack of belief about, about that Ebola is is really a serious problem and and how it's transmitted. Right. Explain more. Yeah. Yeah, I think the big problem with Ebola uh, around the world is just the panic it causes. It's an untreatable disease. It comes from Central Africa. Uh, it's not a disease people are familiar with, so people panic. And yeah, uh, you're dealing in communities that are, are still haunted by the war in Liberia and Sierra Leone who, who don't trust their government quite a lot. And uh, the natural reaction is sort of to uh, wonder what's going on. What, so it's a question. Uh, what this Ebola thing is. I mean, people are, are, are basically saying that their loved ones have malaria or typhoid diseases that they're familiar with. They don't believe that, there's a, that, that Ebola is in Liberia. I spoke to a lot of people when I was there who just think that the government is, uh, is making that up or trying to scare people. Um, that's a problem. The government uh, really uh, doesn't seem capable of, of convincing people uh, to take the right measures and to, and to appreciate that Ebola is a real disease. Okay. Well, it sounds like uh, it's a tough situation for everybody there. We're going to leave it there. Thank you very much, Drew Hinshaw of the Wall Street Thank Journal. You.